Hey everyone, 8Bishop here. Uh, today we're playing a variant of the Nova deck that's very popular. If you've been playing um, Snap, watching other people play, watching deck reviews, that kind of thing, you know Nova is the thing to uh, beat or to play. Um, this version is called Memorial Day. Uh, it's it looked very similar to a normal Nova list as far as the enablers go, but I'm playing a little bit of different stuff. So I'm playing um, a copy of the Hood because I can destroy it with the destroy effects and I... Uh, a six power one drop is quite good. Um, it also synergizes with the Patriot, the reason why it's called Memorial Day. Patriot gives um, your cards with no abilities plus two power, which is a really cool little swing you can do that's kind of like Nova, but you can trick your opponent to like counterplay Nova and then do Patriot plays instead of no uh, the squirrels that Squirrel Girl makes, the demon that's made by the Hood, um, Winter Soldier from Bucky Barnes, all have no abilities and get buffed by this, and then um, we're running Shocker thing and Abomination as other units that get to be a little bit overstatted when I get a Patriot. Uh, so you can Moon Girl and get double Nova or double Patriot, sometimes even both. Um, we end up going six and four with the deck. Uh, I'm going to put up like three matches or so. I think I'm actually going to put one of the matches I lost up just to show that someone was playing a, a deck that counters Nova really hard because that's starting to become part of the metagame as you play Nova or you beat Nova. And um, I kind of want to highlight their counter deck in the definitely lost that match um we had some matches that i misplayed we had some matches that uh, the locations really messed us up, uh, messed us up but as a whole um we still performed with the six and four um i think if i had been playing perfectly and if the location rng was in our favor we might have had a little bit better record but even six and four means you can grind with it um and keep in mind in this game you don't have to have a uh, a positive win rate to grind in this game you just have to have good um snap intuition you can um back out of games that you don't think you can win and uh only snap games that you can win and as long as you're winning with snaps more than you're losing without snaps um and not making bad calls to stay in on snaps uh you could grind this game with like a 20 to 30 percent win rate i'm pretty sure so yeah um this is the list uh you could easily cut Abomination for some cheaper cards in the deck. Um, I'm just playing it because um, it's a pretty fairly statted unit that becomes a little bit more unfairly statted by using the Patriot, and the Patriot is a really fun way of um, scamming a win, especially because uh, a lot of people, who, when they play Nova, once they've set up Nova, they have a full location, and then people go, okay, cool, I need to beat that by one, and then your Patriot comes in and robs them of that, which is really nice. Well, let's uh, hop into that first game. You're going to play this deck very similar to a normal Nova deck where you want to leave an area open to set up um, <clears throat> your Nova stuff, but you have the variation of being able to win with Patriot without Nova at all. So we have we have both enablers. I, ideally, we hit the Nova, obviously. Um, great thing here is the Patriot will also buff this Ninja, so that's extra sets there that people aren't necessarily playing around. Um, I was going to throw the Korg there, but we also can use that ninja space as our setup space. Eat it with a Carnage or a Deathlock. <clears throat> um, I'm going to play this a little bit aggressively, actually, since I have two enablers. So I'm just going to get the Carnage in play and shift the points in the Shadowlands quite a bit. It might make my opponent play a little bit more aggressively, too, because I got rid of an enabler. That's really unfortunate I lost my other enabler, but I do have Patriot to kind of scam one that way still. So we're okay. This is it's gonna be a little bit rougher than we were originally prepared for. We'll go ahead and we'll get hood down here. I think we're just gonna make Titan our throwaway space. So the great thing here is um, the Squirrel Girl and Patriot go together really well because these squirrels are actually 3-3s. Three 
So my opponent doesn't realize how much power they need to be playing around right now, but it's actually quite a bit. So I'm four stronger here right now. I'm about to be um, 12 stronger here because of the Patriot, and then I have the Shocker to throw somewhere. And I can throw Patriot and Shocker into their spaces to help out some. It's really strange that they committed this much here when I haven't done anything in this space yet. Uh, I get that they want the win, but it feels like they're committing a little bit too heavily to the space. Yeah, so we we throw this here. The Nova's worth a little bit more stats if it just goes there than uh, the Patriot is, because the Patriot won't boost itself. But uh, this should be a win. We're about to gain a lot of stats. Because we're getting 9 right here. And then we're getting another uh, six here. I think we're I think we're pretty okay. Oh, who I was really scared when I saw that Nova. I thought they were about to activate it. Okay, that Moon Girl is a pretty big shift for them, though. I'm not positive I have this anymore. I don't think I do. Yeah, they got really big there. Yikes. Right, so first game's a loss. You can see how uh, that could have scammed a win, though. That was a lot of stats that they uh, didn't play around, but they just happened to win more of that area pretty hard for no apparent reason. If I had uh, committed stats differently when I was starting to back up my spaces, I could have still won that. That's okay, though. So zero and one right now. Let me just add a text source or something so I can keep track, I guess. Um, click OK. Don't need to take up a ton of space or anything. Uh, we'll just start with a hood here, I guess. Oh, nice. This is actually really good for us. We can set up a really, really efficiently. We're gonna go ahead and do, like, that right now. The weak point of the demons is electric, electric can kill the demons, but the Squirrel Girl putting extra one drops in the same space helps protect them. One of the reasons I'm playing the Squirrel Girl prior to playing the demon. Um, so if Electra comes down and I do my flips first, I don't accidentally lose my demon, that is a guarantee. Oh, they lost their Electra, that's fantastic for us. Unfortunately, we lost our Patriot, but I think for this particular loadout, um, it's more important that we have the Deathlock anyway. Throw that there. No reason to rush the deathlock yet. Gives us the flexibility of activating later on if we want to. Um, that is unfortunate. They played the armor and get to counter um, our deathlock a little bit. Now the upside here though is um, stuff's going to get split up and the armor's not going to be guaranteed to blocking everything. The drawback though is um, there's not a lot of places for me to go here. I think we're pretty okay, though. Maria, shh. Sorry about that. My dog heard someone talking or something. Um. I mean, no matter how you slice it, there's gonna be something there. I don't want negatives in that space. We'll play the cord here. We're going to hold the death lock. Next turn, all the stuff's going to move, and myself will be killable again. Uh, the drawback of them playing their Ma there is Ma's going to be... Wait, why was I thinking everything's going to move from here? What's wrong with my brain? Okay, now the question becomes, do I ever actually just commit 
a Nova combo to this space. I guess we might as well, right? Because it doesn't weaken this space. It just makes this space stronger. We would lose if we do that, though. Huh. This is an interesting little dilemma here. Because I don't think we can do a ton. We can make this too stronger. I don't think they beat this with their dino. I think we just make that too stronger and we stop. Yeah. And then we just hope they don't kill it with the sunspot on their own, but it's not a hard win for them. Yeah, they got it. I telegraphed my play a little bit too much, though, and played in a counterplay. It's a popular deck. There's going to be counterplay at this point. So you got to be ready for that. Zero and two, so far not highlighting it the best, but that's okay. This is also a deck I doesn't play very much, so there's going to be some piloting errors. Okay, this is a fantastic opening hand, though. This is the kind of combo you want to see. Um, it is unfortunate that we have um, a Mindscape. It means that we have to play our, our endgame combo a little bit late, or a little bit earlier than we would prefer, but it is what it is. We'll take an extra shocker, that's okay. I think it's silly when people try to use the Sinister London with uh, the Nova combo, because a lot of times they just completely screw themselves, destroying too much of their own stuff. And the most important thing with uh, Moon Girl is that you hit an extra Nova, and since we will hit an extra Nova, we're going to just Moon Girl the heck out of this. Um, the only thing to consider now is because of this Patriot, we could be greedy and try to clear our hand first to get that extra Patriot, but the problem is, is since we don't have our, um, our turn 6 because of that Mindscape, it's really not worth the risk, I don't think. So I think what we need to do is this. And then we just hope. Oh, one class can't even be played there, huh? This is a little awkward. Because we want to get the most optimal play we can get off of um, our death lock. This is one of those few times I think it might actually be right to play on the Sinister, Sinister London. Because of the Hellfire Fire Club, it gives us another area to play. Oh, wow. That's actually quite good for us. Especially because we can do it I guess order of operations does matter a little bit, huh? We'll do it like that. A copy of that carnage is actually a lot of points, so I think we're okay. We know the strongest thing they can do from our hand is uh, play an abomination, so... And then blocking us here actually doesn't completely ruin our lives because of this carnage, so we're... Oh, that's disgusting, actually. We just got counterplayed so hard. Wow. Look at that. I have never seen a person so aggressively counter this deck. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, the deck is something that you should be trying to counter in the metagame, but ooh, wow. Now the question becomes, do I shift stats this way or just play stats this way? That's seven and that would be it. Yeah, I think no matter how they're playing Cosmo too, like their deck is, is anti this deck. They're playing Armor, they're playing Cosmo, they're playing Mystique. They built this deck to counter um, the metagame. 
And I, I get it. I really do. Uh, that's a deck I was considering featuring as the anti-meta deck. Um, but unfortunately, I'm playing a meta deck right now and um, showing you how I'm just getting countered left and right. But um, you know, honestly, if this ends up just being a horrifically um, bad play for me, I'm still going to post it and I'm just going to be like, oh, look, um, counterplay has has happened, you know? If nothing else, we're getting good examples of anti-meta decks. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw Blackie there. <laughs> Occasionally, Bucky gets to be really good because of something like Nowhere, too. You just play him in Nowhere, Nowhere kills him, and then you just get, like, the six power on Nowhere for free. Do -do -do. Uh, I'm recording, but you can talk. What's up? Okay, you convince me. We're gonna go for a double Patriot play in this game. Okay, they're probably gonna do like an anti destruction follow up here to try to force me to make my play and counter it. Ironically, like that doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to be able to double Patriot because of stupid Mindscape again. Eh, it is what it is. Can't be played here, can still be added there. Then let's happily just do this, do this, do that. Looks like they're probably winning the vault. These mindscapes are making it hard for me to play the game, man. They sure lost a lot of stats from there. I have shot to win, actually, because of that. I actually have a pretty good chance here, because I know what's in their hand. Yeah, I guess the moon girling was kind of a mistake, huh? Because they got to pass me a dino with a whole bunch of stats. Man, they even have the death in their deck. Okay, so that's a win for us. For a second, I really thought that, that was a, another loss.
Uh, we won't count that one for obvious reasons. <clears throat> I don't mind the danger room when I'm playing this deck. Honestly, this is a fantastic hand. We're going to be able to Moon Girl, the Patriot, and the Nova. In turn five, everything has to be played there. Okay, no problem. Hmm. Let's do this. And then that. Yeah, I'll take it. That. 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 They can still counter this play, obviously, but they probably think I'm setting up over here in the danger room now. So let's do it. Then we'll throw this here, that there, because they have to contest this spot in order to make sure I can't just win it back, because 10 is very manageable. Huh. It's a risk, I'm going to play it though. It's be hard for them to hold Avengers Compound if they're playing against me taking it back, as well as hold Shadowland. And I'm adding more stats to Shadowland by playing this Patriot. I'm trying to think of what they could play. Like, I guess they have, they could do like a double dinosaur play to try to beat me. I think that's specifically what they need is like a double dinosaur play. Yeah. So you can kind of see how um, the Patriot has been making a difference there because being able to actually throw in extra um, stats on those full slots in other ways besides Nova is quite relevant. I don't want to play a thing there yet, then. Sometimes the secret to success is just biting the bullet and doing it, but... I hope I don't get flooded with rocks, but if I do, at least Patriot can make them have stats.
Well, okay then. I'm going to very much telegraph I want to blow up the space. Pretty scary to see multiple man set up that way. Uh, that's the kind of deck that really wants the multiple man set up there. Obviously, you could get a bigger Nova combo, wait longer, but there can be some counterplay happening. Um, plus, with the hand I have, I don't really have a ton of stuff to curve out. We're just going to get the big stats right now. New York is so strong for them, but uh, they they did make this mistake playing Vulture unless they're going to move the Vulture right now. See, I think at this point, what I do is I um, I really aggressively play here. Because movement decks a lot of time will leave this last slot um, a little less defended. And like multiple man will always be there, but um, I think that's where I'm going to want my stats. And I can move my demon out of here. Oh, gross. I think Kunlun's actually going to get lost then. Because they can move Vision over, and I think they will move Vision over. Then they can move back, though. And there's a real likelihood they're going to move back. They're going to they're gonna end with a Heimdall. So it's actually probably New York. That's the most dead. It's be seven plus nine plus four. So thirteen plus seven twenty. Okay, we can still fight that. We're going to do it like that. I'm not snapping, though. That was an interesting play on their part. I'm really confused why Vulture got played to New York in the first place. They could have Moved it to New York on six and got um, five more stats on it. Well, we're up to a 50% win rate. Well, that's a nice full hand for us. Sure, take it. There's a world where we just play Deathlock to Atlantis because of that. Um, I kind of like saving the Patriots as a surprise, even though this makes me play off curve. Yeah.
I just realized I don't think I'm playing Angel in this deck. And honestly, I don't know that I'm missing it in this deck. Because <laughs> it always feels so bad to draw Angel. You like getting him for free from your deck, but it feels really bad when you um when you draw him. Oh. Turns out playing that all by itself doesn't matter anyway. Is there a world where I ever do that? No, you don't do the carnage there. Two, four, six. You lose a point for doing the carnage, basically. I guess the question is, is double Patriot actually worth it? That'd give me two, four, six, eight more stats there. It might be worth it. I don't know if this is correct, honestly, but we're going to try it. Wow, that one point there actually mattered. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Yikes. I do still have an enabler, but yikes. Oh, that was such a good hit, though. Like, I'm aware I can't do the whole combo as efficiently, but still. Dream Dimension is such a crappy location for this follow-up. It is what it is. If they have counterplay, they have counterplay. Yeah, I think we just play out like this. I think we actually have an okay shot of winning it, because if they want to counterplay here, yeah. Then there's not a lot else they can do. If they don't counterplay there, then how, how do they win, right? Because the cheapest counterplay they had there would be two cost, and then they only get four mana to play with the rest of the, the battlefield.
Well, we'll see if we're playing against the meta deck. We got the, the anti-meta. There's a chance. We'll see, though. If nothing else, we have our Patriot, so we still might be able to scam some stuff out of them. Sure, let's double that. We probably want to hold the armor, because if they're playing the the armor, they probably aren't playing the actual combo pieces. Yikes. I mean, at this point, armor's is our highest stat line. Okay. I don't think it's worth playing Nova quite yet. I think I'll snap it. It seems like we have a decent chance now. It's so interesting when I see people playing Jubilee decks, but they're playing, like, some weaker cards, like movement cards and stuff. I do just have some chonky stuff in there, so that's a factor. Why didn't I draw a card? Their deck has cards in it. That's not the first time that's happened, either. Think we just do this and then hope we have a better tiebreaker? Well, we don't have a better tiebreaker. They have a lot of stats going on there. Wait, does someone prevent movement too? Oh no, armor just had the highest stats. I shouldn't have played that one out, honestly. It's okay, Maria. Oh, that's not awful for us, actually. <laughs> I think we probably just set up in there.
Uh, sure. I think we're actually pretty okay. Not playing the Patriot there means we lose power there. What if instead of going for that, we just do this? That'd be 5, 12, plus 2, that's 14 power there. Yeah, let's go for this. Wait, they didn't play a card? You snapped. Why did you snap and then not play your last turn? Super confused. <clears throat> All right, so that puts us at six and four. All right.